So this PS4 has got a pulsing blood, a long pulsing blood, but it's kind of like a ghost white light of death, sort of. So if I flick over to game capture here, you can see we've got a black screen. So if I unplug the HDMI port, it comes up no signal like that, right? But the console's actually turned on. I'll just plug the cable back in and as you can see, no signal. So, if we go back to overhead, it's uh, Blue Light of Death. T Mark, thank you for the channel sponsor, Matt. I appreciate that. Thank you, buddy. Fun fact if you want to do it for free, you can just go over to Twitch and do it that way on Twitch. So, Kat just mentioned in the chat um, that the SSD is married. Yes, as far as I'm aware, it is. We don't know, but the problem is, I mean, it's not usable in the current state. So I've got the PS5 software on this USB, but in the current state, it's not usable. Let me show you what's actually happening when I first turn it on. So I'm just shutting that down, but I don't think it's going to shut down. So I'm just going to pull the plug. So when I first turn it on, I'm going to switch to the... Right, so you're going to see in a second, this is going to actually attempt to boot up. So this is how I know it's a... Um... SSD problem. So as you can see, it's attempting to boot up and we will get the PlayStation logo. Once this reboots and it gets the PlayStation logo, then, you know, we're going to actually see... Sorry, once it reboots, we're going to actually see the PlayStation logo. So any second now, we should be seeing... There we go. So we get the PlayStation logo, still pulsing blue, and then it's going to hang on there for a second. And then the screen's going to go black any second now. Any second now. Any second. <clears throat> any second now. Come on. Do it. Don't make me bounce you across the room. Don't make me bounce you across the room. All right. Well, anyway, it's hanging on this PlayStation logo, right? There you go. Now it's gone black. So it's going black. And that's all it does. Bear in mind, this console was on for a good five minutes before I actually flicked over to the screen. So it's literally just hanging on a black screen. So there's nothing wrong with the HDMI port, obviously, because if there was, then we wouldn't get a display at all or it would be flickering on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off. But it's not actually booting up. It's still on a pulsing blood. You deserve this, mate. Your self-taught skills are stellar. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate the $10 as well. Thank you, mate. So it's hanging on a blue light. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see it? Let me, let me unplug the HDMI cable because I don't want to break the port. Yeah, hanging on a blue light, lung pulsing blood. But it is attempting to turn up, now, turn on. Now, on the PlayStation 4, when this happened, it was always the hard drive. So, the problem is the SSD is soldered, right? So, obviously, that's a big problem on its own. Now, one thing I have done in preparation for this is, number one, I've prepped a USB. So, bouncing between you and Booter. Oh, is Booter live? Oh, sorry, Booter. Sorry, dude. My bad. Uh, let me post a link to Mr. Computer Booter's stream. Everyone go check him out. My mate Vince is best YouTuber. My mate Vince is awesome. I like my, my mate Vince. He comes on the stream occasionally. But yeah, basically, in, in preparation of this stream, I... Because obviously I go live every Monday anyway. So I've had this for a few days. I've been waiting for confirmation from the customer. He said, do what I can. So basically, it's either that we just need to reinstall the software. Now, I don't know. I either just need to reinstall the software or I'm going to need to replace the SSD. But as far as I'm aware, the SSD is married. But I have pre bulled a full replacement SSD in preparation. I'm not going to be replacing the controller. There's like 300 and something balls on it. No, 625 balls on it, I think. Something like that. Um, but I'm going to attempt to replace the SSD. So you might notice that I've taped all these to an envelope. I oh, know. <laughs> but these are all pre bulled I've re bulled them all already this morning. Um... And they're in order. So these are the top ones, APU side. And these are the bottom ones, um, 
which are basically um, the the back of the board. So this is the board I've took them off. So as you can see, we've got the SSD controller there. I don't know if this is married to here. That's the problem. And I don't know if the SSD controller is needed to be able to read where the bits are on the SSD. So if this is married, then we're fucked. Unless we can find a way to get into safe mode and reinstall it. Because, yeah. <coughs> Otherwise, it's going to need this... Um, this chip here to be able to read the SSD. So we don't know if it's married, but the customer has said do what I can. That's still pulsing blue, by the way. Um, but the reason I've put that there is because then I know which ones are going. Um, because as far as I know, you at least you're at least going to need to do them in order. I have attempted this once and it ended up in failure, but I didn't keep them in order. So I don't actually know if the SSD is married, and I don't think anyone knows. So basically, I've got them all in order, but I'm going to try just reinstalling the software fresh from scratch first of all so I'm gonna unplug that plug that back in there plug that in there and then I'm gonna try and get into safe mode so press and hold the power button Okay, so that's just done a double beep. Is it going to shut off or is it going to actually work? Okay, it's gone to a white light. Connect the controller and the USB cable. Cool, we can do that. Okay, there we go. So, I'm going to plug in a USB. And the first thing I'm going to try is change video output. So, change resolution. And that should go into low resolution mode, or at least 720p. Mr. Chase Fournier, welcome. Uh, let me find Chase's channel, actually. Let's show Chase's channel. So, prepping console. Yeah. Everyone go check out Chase Fournier on YouTube as well. That would be awesome. I've posted a link to his channel as well. Um, be awesome if you go and check him out. Show him some love. He's a good guy. Wears his heart on his sleeve. Uh... We got him over 2,000 subs the other day, and I'm sure he'd appreciate a few more. 100k subs, get your silver play button. Hope so, mate. Thank you. I hope so. <laughs> no worries, Chase. You're welcome, mate. Been here since Tronic Fix gave you a shout-out. Oh, mate, Tronic Fix is a legend. I'm, I'm sure Tronic Fix needs no introduction. Tronic Fix is a legend. But yeah, let's show Chase some love as well. Get Chase some, uh, some more viewers, shall we? Okay, so we're still black screen. So it's not your screen that's gone off, it's just that we are black screen. I'll tell you what, I'll go back to the overhead camera. I can just put it on studio mode so as I can still see the screen. It's not going nowhere, still stuck on blue screen. So I'm going to go back into safe mode, I think. So I'm going to have to unplug it and plug it back in. Sat so, so here watching the stream and working. Uh, pardon, I burped. <laughs> working on some PS3 controllers. That's awesome, man. Sounds like you got sniffles. A little bit, mate, yeah. I have for a while, to be honest. I've had them for a, a few months, to be honest. Smash that light button. We deleted a PSV. <laughs> <laughs> Bollocks, you prick. <laughs> oh, God. Hell no. Uh, all right, let's... Uh... Let's reinstall the system software then. I've got a USB connected with the software installed. So this is the thing, this is the furthest I've got. I don't know whether it's going to be the SSD or or what. But let's just see what happens. So just for record just for the record, this is a digital edition. I'm assuming that reply that uh, reinstalling the software has already been tried to be honest. Disgusting burping on stream. Yep. Yeah, this is definitely going to be interesting. Oh, hang on. Oh, it's going to be boring. Is it really just software related? Oh, come on. I wanted to replace an SSD. Wow, them graphics, though. 
Let's all donate and line up at his front door to fart in his face. <laughs> yeah, the donation's coming. All right, let's... Uh... Well, this is going to be boring, isn't it? Well, I was hoping to do an SSD swap, I'll be honest. Oh, no, you can see my Wi-Fi password. Whoops. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to... I'm going to set this up. I'm obviously not going to sign in. But I'm going to set this up and... Um, right, let's just forget about that. I can't believe this hasn't been tried. I have got to reboot it afterwards and make sure it's working. Boo, software corrupted, yeah. No, not short, short stream. I've got, I've got a lot of stuff to do. I've got all the stuff to do. Don't worry about that. Right, so I'm going to reboot this then. Actually, I'm going to I'm going to do a complete shutdown. Go away. Go away. Fix it till it's broken. Yeah. <laughs> Nabbing free Wi-Fi. <laughs> you got to donate for free Wi-Fi, mate. Alright, so that's just shutting down. I'm going to do a cold reset. Uh, it looks like this was just software related. Just reinstalling using the USB seems to have fixed it. But I'm going to see if it boots up now that we've got the USB unplugged. And... Um, yeah, USB unplugged. And uh, I'm going to cold boot it as well by unplugging the power supply for 30 seconds. Just to make sure. Alright, let's boot it back up. See what it does this time. So I, I wouldn't understand why this wouldn't have been tried. Fart on face not required. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> I appreciate that. DJ Reese, how's it going, mate? Oh, this is fucking boring. Uh, it's all working. Well, that was a quick fix. <laughs> PS5 repair speed run. Yeah. YouTube short video when you edit it down. I could do a short video on that, yeah. But yeah, that, oh, that that's boring. <laughs>